standing there Even when we're miles apart I feel you dancing at my feet I can't seem to breathe without you close I need to know that you are here Wrap my arms around you Dancing to the rhythm your heart beats Deep into the night we stay Tiny by the lights we sway Well, hello guys, and welcome to an episode. Bit of a special one, this one. As you can see, I'm on uh, a very different venue. If you haven't guessed, it's my first venture over to France. And we're here for a week on a lake called Lac du Villefond. It's deep in the south of France, about opposite with Lyon. So yeah, big old, big old drive. Um, but hopefully, it'll be a big old drive for a big old fish. There's a good head of fish in here. A good head of big fish, should I say. I've come here for that, for that reason, in fact, um, there's, there's a seven a six pounder here, eighty called Arnold, um, which is an absolute enormous of a car. You should see the size of it. Obviously, I haven't come specifically to target that one fish. I've come for the the numbers of the fifty pounders that are in. Apparently, they've uh, had to stop counting them. There's that many of them in, and apparently, there's more chance of getting a forty than a thirty in here. So um, it's a big fish water. Hard water, it's very tricky. I've spoke to the bailiff as we got here this afternoon, I and mean, I've spent a bit of time getting my rods set. Now, it's, I've not set them the way I sh really should have done because I'm, I'm not tired today. It's first day, it's Saturday, and we've been here about three hours. We've had a walk around the lake with the bailiff, lovely bloke, talks us through the spots and um, where to fish, how tricky the carp were. Unfortunately, as I um, haven't been to France, obviously I don't know much about it, I and mean, I haven't really read into this lake as much as I should have done. Um, but yeah, it's probably a bit harder than I should have uh, chose for my first trip to France. But hey ho, we're diving at the deep end. Um, it's eight acres in size, and um, with that centre island, we're in the cabin swim, and there's various other swims dotted around the lake. I've got the lake to myself. Uh, we spoke to the bailiff today and he said uh, as long as we're quiet we should get some action throughout the night because apparently they're that, they're that finicky in here that when it gets daytime that they, they move out of this shallow bay here this is the shallow end and then that's the deep end about nine foot up there and then there's about two foot to a foot up there and then there's a lot of good margins down there and um, so i'm probably going to have a scout about and um, bait a couple of spots it's obviously going to be my main spot and i'm going to keep the bait going in over the spots that i have chose now the, when i first arrived the bailiff told me to use the boat the rowing boat that they've got here now i'm not i'm not one of them to use boats bait boats stuff like that i had a go with it nearly fell in and i thought bugger this uh get the spawn out i don't know if i've done right or wrong and but you never know until you try now the bailiff said it's a big no-no, all my mates have said it's a big no-no and I'm not looking to make a, a feeding frenzy as it were, I'm not I'm not spamming every 10 minutes 
um, getting a clown. Um, I've, I've literally put five or ten spods over the middle rod and the right hand rod and it's just for a bite. I've made sure I've cast nice and accurately and clipped up on them spots. I've only put bait over the middle and right rod just to see how the results pan out. I've got the left and right hand rod on solid bag rigs at the minute and then the middle rod on a fluorocarbon D rig with a double imitation fake corn that's yellow coloured so it's imitating the sweet corn that I'm putting out in my spod mix I'm putting sweet corn, hemp, pellets and crushed boilies and obviously whole boilies but not a lot because I have been told that they are uh, pretty finicky fish you get everything down to a minimal critically balance your hook baits and all that lot so yeah like I say it's, it's going to be a challenge but I'm looking forward to it I'll stop gabbering on now I'm boring you to death and hopefully it won't be long until we've got one of these big great French lumps on the mat In a couple of fish show this afternoon. Nothing major. I've had uh, a couple of fish show at the island, and I've had a good fish show near my right and rod. Um, now I've got that right and rod, solid bag, left and rod, solid bag, middle rod on that fluorocarbon, D rig. You see that stick in there? It's not in for note. I just plugged that in uh, because I'm wading out to that stick and uh, casting all three rods from it so I know the distance is a cock on from there obviously if I get a fish it'll, and it hits that it'll just come unearthed and hopefully stay out of the way but yeah I've got that that right hand rod on that tree there well I'm like drop down on that tree 12 wraps I think it's just over 60 yards, 60 yards something like that yeah it's a fair old chuck with scopes especially with 15 pound line but it's getting over there like I say, I've spotted an area over that about a kilo between the two rods. I haven't gone mad, I'm just fishing for a bite. Uh, because there were five anglers on, I think, last week. A couple of the 50s got caught. So yeah, I'm guessing that they used quite a bit of bait. Uh, we're going to take things easy, see how things pan out throughout the week. I've got plenty of bait with me, loads of different types of bait. And so we're just going to keep things simple, not change much from my UK fishing. Fingers crossed, we can trick one up before the week's out. But we're just coming into the first uh, evening now. And we've just had a lovely uh, chicken curry and rice. And of course, a couple of cans of that. Sink it down. What a beautiful place. I've been not feeling very well since I got here yesterday. It hasn't stopped the fish feeding and I've had one of the smallest in my life. Fish. I got a quick picture of the weight, 10 pound. If that middle rod, double corn on that bush, and middle out to the island. Fish moving about as well, so I crept out as you saw on the GoPro. I crept out and put it back out on the spot. With a little stick of um, 
hemp maple um, prawn. That's what I've come over on a little uh, Kirkshank D rig. So hopefully it works for the for the bit better fish. But uh, yeah, I definitely had um, a few pickups last night. Um, I don't know whether they from the bigger fish, but I think. Good morning. Day two. Well, this is his first proper day. Uh, we got here yesterday around 12, one in the afternoon, and got fishing about half past four. I've had a bit of action throughout the night. I've been done. I think I've been done on the right hand rod, um, also on the left, uh, because the bailiffs informed me that they're really finicky, spooky fish, and they've been it says just keep an eye out for them, picking up your baits and just do 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 because they're picking it up and shaking it and getting rid of it. Now last night I baited a spot nice and accurately to the right of me um, in a pool where I'd seen a few fish showing and I've seen some this morning showing along this margin. But yeah, I put about half a kilo in other than two rods with the spot. Now he told me that the spot was no good um, and it spooks them. I've had two bites this morning off stockies. Now, yeah, they might be small fish fishing lake, but it's still the working. This one I've had um, two of the well, I had that common. And there's the rig that I um, presume I got done on last night and I'll let you can see it. Down as soon as I pick that slow sinking bit of corn up and as you can see we've gone for the citrus zing this time. Just a singular grain, slow sinking. And then that size six Kordakamakoru just sinks it nicely. Just heard a fish jump around in the shallows. But yeah, reeled in this morning. I've got a couple of bleeps last night. A beep 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 indicates to me uh, that it's done me um, and when I reeled it in this morning the extra sharp Kamakuru had a, sh a little shell of hemp just masking that point but unfortunately I think when the fish picked it up it shook its head and the full weight of the lead has gone into the piece of hemp rather than the fish's mouth now these hooks are that sharp I've just, I've just changed it literally put a brand fire new hook on it must have just swung into my pod or something and it's, it's knocked up point over so I might have to play about with them, change hook patterns, stuff like that. Uh, I've got plenty of hooks with me, so I'm just going to keep check trying. Uh, I'm here for a good another six nights. Um, it's good to see that they've been over us in the first first night, uh, especially with how loud I was and and stuff, and especially with no one else on the lake. So yeah, without further ado, the plan of attack from now on is to get this spud mix out. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, we've got all sorts in there, we've got hemp, maples, sweet corn, spicy fish pellets, tuna and garlic pellets and then tuna and garlic and spicy fish boilers as well. Um, but I've done something a little bit different with the boilers um, because of spooky fish in here. I've washed them out, I've gone to wash them out. Get an handful of them out. You can see that most of them have lost the colour and that's the spicy fish and tuna and garlic, 14s and 12s. And if I just look at that. And it's just the exact same with the tuna and garlic, you just, and they're broken up. And so it just imitates the baits that have been out in the late, late water 24 hours. So. Try and be nice and quiet because this morning, obviously, I haven't seen them, but I believe that there is fish down these margins. And I was going to put a spot down there. Uh, but I, I flicked the marker rod down and because the water level's so low, unfortunately, it's about two, three foot deep. But I'm going to stick to my spots that I've got. I've got one in line with that big tree over there at 12 wraps. One straight out to the island, about three quarters way across. And then I'm going to have one right at the, like, the other side of this island to try and, to try and get them when they're swimming into the shallows on, a, on the night time. So right, get some bait out.
fish I've seen that are feeding around here. Uh, spot two, I don't know if you can see them. Some bubbles just at a crease about there. Just see them, that's one feeding. And um, there's one just to our left. Um, so there's a couple in front of this swim. And one's just start bubbling over there. Well there's the main facilities at Lac de Valley Fond. You've got the main cabin there with a portable motor home that you can sleep in. And there's the shower block. Lovely and warm shower. See, so we've yet to pick that up, but yeah, man. Seventy-six. I'd be happy with any one of them. Fingers crossed. It won't be long. And as you can see, guys, we've had a swift move round where based the other side of that island and then I've moved I've decided to move around as you can see I've brought the pod and the three rods and two rods of fishing uh, both the either sides at margins I've waded in very deep 
in front of us. So what I've decided to do was get that left hand rod in first, wade out to about there, and the aerator was on when we got down here. Bubbles coming up already down, down where I've spotted and stuff, but I don't know if you can see it, there's like a, a white cone, and then there's the bush to the left, basically in between them, but probably 15 yard this way, uh, 20 yard this way from that cone, just to, so I don't get it up in that aerator but I'm basically down the long side of that them tree branches that are coming out there and I've put a little bit of spot mix out over them both with a little spawn just so I'm not causing any disturbance about six foot deep on the bag rod there I've got that one on the left that left hand rod on the, on the solid bag and the right hand rod on the solid bag but I've got the left hand rod full of hemp maples and corn and I've got that on a, a maple and a single grain of white corn and it just sinks ever so slowly and that's on the left hand rod then this right hand rod is put just come around here as you can see around there right off the end of that tree there again alongside them branches over there uh, probably 15 yard out and when I've backleaded both of them and like I say spotted a little bit of bait out over them both and then this one I'm just about to get out now my double corn rig, D rig, that if the majority of the numbers are here and I put this in front of one face, we could end up getting one. Good evening guys, as you can see, uh, we're in a new spot and uh, I've, moved, I've decided to move all three rods around here. Um, we've, we moved around about two, three hours since. Uh, obviously we, we, we're, we're passing it as stalking. Um, yeah, trickled a little bit of the in with a little spawn, and that's causing the disturbance. As I said on the GoPro, actually I've been here about two, three hours now, we haven't recast or anything like that, but nothing's happened. I'm going to keep my options open for the stalking. We've got a little trolley, like I say, we're only people on late this week, so I've put a bit of bait on these margins. As soon as the daytime bite hasn't worked up here today, hopefully tonight, uh, to get, get up them shallows again and uh, get on the feed. Because uh, I'm uh, sure that we had fish operas last night, without a doubt, and I'm guessing that they weren't all just stockage. Uh, because I did get quite a few beep beep beep, and as I said earlier, uh, I think they were doing my rig. Fishing, roast dinner on the bank, and chocolate roots. Get on. So we got the two bites on this morning. Night. I know they're only small but it was tricking them up and it was working so I put another one out 
I'm going to put another deer rig out, a bit longer, um, because I was getting pick up last night, and um, I think they were, they were doing this, so I've made it a bit longer, and I've made the he uh, lead a bit heavier. Try and get this long range without right now. Near enough put my scales out. <laughs> We're at 58, 57, 57, 5. Absolutely mega. Just took two pieces of fake corn. And he fought like a tarpon. There we go, one last look at Captain Sherman, the venue's only Sturgeon resident. Let's say, call it a day and slip this beast back. Right, morning guys, uh, just a quick update, uh, no fish um, to report after that sturgeon last night, we just had his breakfast, it's about 10am, but yeah I think uh, I think getting that sturgeon last night on the middle rod, took the middle rod, double corn on that D-rig, straight out to the island, about, mid, about three quarters way across to the island, over a spotted area, now I think with that just tear assing around the swim last night, it knackered all my uh, chances up to get one of them carp. Like, like I say, the first night I, I was definitely I was getting loads of action. Yeah, I think that sturgeon's just come and mauled me. Just heard a fish show there. Noticed how I switched to the mid midi spawn. Now that I've started putting bait in, I can just start topping the spots up with this little bad boy. Good morning. Nothing else to report. We've just been for a shower. Come in today, three now. Monday, today. Uh, we go home on Saturday. Another five nights at it. So hopefully within that time we can uh, trick one of these tricky fish up. As you can see, well, the rods are in now, and we're just about to uh, go to the shop. I just thought I'd run you through that rig and set up that I had that uh, sturgeon on last night. Starting off with the rod, we've got the 9 foot Nash scope, 3.5 pound test curve. I'm going to run it down to a 15 pound main line, and that's, as you can see, that nice and thick. We've got a 15 pound cord of sublime main line there in brown. Run into a 40 pound hybrid uh, corda leader, I think it's a dark matter. Got two flexor tungsten up it, that's in clear. Um, like I said, that's a hybrid. And then we've got a 15 pound, run you through it um, at the start of the session, it's the same rig I had the small stocky on. 
at the start of the session. Well, actually, I, I got I caught one and uh, lost one, and that's the setup I had it on. Good morning guys, just a quick update, just done the third night, it's now um, Tuesday morning, had a little stocky this morning again, unfortunately, don't know what I'm doing wrong. A quick change of plan on uh, day three, well, it's the third night now, it's Tuesday uh, morning, coming up to Tuesday afternoon, it's, uh, it's nearly 12 o'clock, uh, I've had a change of plan. Uh, I have had, an, had another stocky this morning, um, which I'm quite disappointed about, catching that sturgeon and not getting that again last night, I thought, yeah, hopefully I've been with a chance of getting a carp. I heard a few showing. In fact, I heard one this morning, I spooked one this morning. I leave the doors about five, six in the morning, and it were about ten foot out. I'm having a change of plan, accurately put them in, place them in by hand, um, and I'm going to take that bucket of bait out with me, hand place the rigs where I think is a good spot, and then where I've seen fish. I'm not too bothered about the bottom when it's on. Not the super gravel areas out like that. There's, there's that many fish up that end. And I'm sure if we get some other kilo of bait on floor, we're going to come down and investigate. And what well, I'm hopeful anyway. Um, I ain't got the luxury of having a bait boat. So I've got to do this. Now, the bailiff recommended me doing this um, at the start of the session. So I'm not bothered about making noise. I thought four nights left. Uh, in the first two, three nights, I ain't made out happen yet. I've had a sturgeon. Yes, yeah, happy days. I've had a couple of stockies. Now I need to change my. Um, into the fourth night now. And I've only just got the rod set for tonight as you saw on the GoPro. Put them two rods out the right and middle rods of the boat. And then the top left them rod on the island spot to come out of that. And we've had the sturgeon and the, the few stockies. Um, it seems to be a pr pretty productive spot that. It's about the rod length to off the island, probably just under three quarters. And like you saw, I put corn, hemp and pellet out as well and I put two tins of corn in over the two so probably a can of corn each and then a handful of pellets and the tuna and garlic and spicy fish so yeah fingers crossed tonight is the night good conditions nice and cool it's been cool today with a bit of rain and they've been moving about as well I've seen some I've even seen some today up in the shallows so they're moving about let's just hope they want some of this um, urbans and hopefully one of them rattles tonight. We'll soon see. Well that's what we come to France for boys. I've literally just come out of Bibi for a wee and the left hand rod's just started ticking which is three quarters away across to the island and we've got one of the A-team in the net. It's got a back on it like you wouldn't believe. Well guys, I don't know how well you can see him, but there he is, Arnold Bory. And as you can see, I am absolutely struggling to hold this Leviathan. Just look at the head on it. I'm not going to say much, because it's that heavy. 
Well, we haven't had a wave of him yet. I've just literally erupted him. And we're going to call Ben. It's five in the morning. <laughs> There he is. Double corder imitation slow thinking corn to a size six curve shank to a 15 pound IQ two up length over my urban bait. Spicy fish tuna and garlic, but mainly sweet corn, a hemp and pellet. <laughs> what a fish man. Fish. And my double pawn V rig, fluorocarbon IQ2, size 6 gear shank. What an enormous one. Time is half past eight, Wednesday the 28th of August. Now, I haven't seen much fish, fish activity today. John's come down and he's put the air rate on it, far corner in the deep end. I've seen a couple of fish head and shoulder in, in that bay, uh, not too far away from that right hand rod. Now, like I say, I've sat the boat off today, this, this, today and gone back to spawning uh, as soon as I caught that one of my spod mix. I've gone back to the original spots that I was fishing over that side and at that. And obviously the one at the island. So yeah, fingers crossed. I've put a couple of spawns over the left and right. They're just straight boily. The one I showed you earlier, they're washed out. In there. Just put a few spawns of that out.
what that's seven pounds, something like that. Seven, eight, seven, eight pound. Yeah, pretty decent. Again on that corn rig, double corn. Same rig I got Arnold on. So it's not just the big ones that like it, but a way through them little ones. But I'm surprised actually because I have been putting quite a bit of bait in over that spot with the catapult and the spob. Like I say, I've been trying to feed them off and I haven't had one for a couple of days. Now I had a sturgeon last night on the right hand rod again. Just before nightfall I had that um, same sturgeon on right hand rod down in this bay. Uh, onto that spot there and line that tree. It probably cleared that spot out this morning. Night I had Arnold that was showing everywhere and last night I don't think they were way up here. Now whether that was because I caught Arnold or Sturgeon again, I'm not sure. Um, but you can't ask for one every night. I'm pretty pretty glad I, I didn't get one throughout the night. To be fair, I, I was absolutely knackered from last night. And um, that honey ripped off at five in the morning, just before first light. So yeah, and today it looks like it's going to be an absolutely beautiful day with that sun coming up. But we didn't get much sun yesterday, so it's, it's, it's a nice surprise today. So anyway, breakfast on its way. And we're going to the shopping centre today. And here we have them. Um, washed out baits that I did yesterday 24 hours later as you can see that it's gone orange the water I've soaked them in the lake water and you can still see the dabbles of oil um, that have not fully soaked in but as you can see there you go tuna and garlic spicy fish and them tuna and garlic if you get close up I don't know whether it's because it's took the colour of the spicy fish and the colour of the water on but if you could smell that the krill and tuna in that oh, it just stinks and I've just washed the spoon it fell in and look what it's done <laughs> it just cleared this green scum you can see all the dab flickles of oil it just completely cleared that and all that was me washing the spoon yeah that's the got the boilers in them now I've crushed the load up as you can see and I'm just going to show you what I do with some of the urban products just over there got the liquid liver and which is absolutely excellent I've actually found probably used three quarters of that and about a quarter left as you can see I've used quite a bit of that and I've used about half of the pro fish protein enzyme liquid and I'm going to start with the fish protein as you can see it's very very thick so yeah it's nice Dollar for that, not a lot. Like I don't want to go too mad. Then, get a bit of a stir around in there. Normally I'd use my hands. But it's absolutely horrible as you can see, it's all. Thin, it's weird. But the fish like it. So do I. People put it on the dog biscuits, stuff like that. Putting it in the spot mix and using it as like a spod syrup. So I know Nash do stuff like that. Oh, I don't believe it, I was just about to spawn and the left hand rod just buckled round. Literally just putting my waders on, reel these rods in and get a spawn mix out. This is what we want. If this is a common, hopefully we can complete the trio. There we go, not quite the common I'm after, but there's a little lack de Billy Pond future banger. Look at the shoulders on him. I'm probably touching double figures, isn't it? Um, but again, we won't spend too long with Matt Walks, it's really warm. You have to do that one, Goodwin. You're slipping back.
We've got the rods out for the sixth night. As you can see, what a beautiful French evening it is. I've been out shopping today. I've had a little change round today of the rods. I've put that right and rod right down there, on that down that tree line where they've been showing. And that's the only change. The middle rods on the spot to the island, and the left hand rod is to the left there on that big tree. And, uh, that's where I got that nice common from earlier this morning that my girlfriend showed you. That were about seven or eight pound. That was on the middle rod on the double corn and it absolutely rattled off. So far, put shoulder on him and he's absolutely whack it. As you can see, I just got it on the GoPro. Get it on that middle rod, double imitation, maize, over a load of sweet corn and hemp and boil it. I slip her back. Friday morning, half past nine. I'm just awaiting this lovely breakfast. No, no more fish to report since that stock in this morning. I'd say that on my um, seven, seven stocky bite fifth landed, and I'd say that one might have been just over double figures. It wasn't the common I was after. And so today we're going to have breakfast, and uh, because I've seen a few show up that end, we're going to hop over to that other swim for the last day and do a few hours in there today. Well, we've just got into the stalking peg that we've been baiting up uh, throughout the week, the other swim. Obviously we're fishing it back at Ireland, I've been here before because I want to get these rods out because it's nice and hot Yeah, it's been obvious they've been up here all week um, throughout the day uh, especially early morning we've seen loads of fizzing and activity up here where they've been feeding not so much when we've got down here and baited up but again, I, you don't see much up that end either so they've got to be somewhere and my bets is in this big vast open water with all these snags Along the left hand side there's absolutely loads of places for them to hide out of the sun and, and whatnot. But yeah, couldn't wish for a better um, first adventure to France really. And these last couple of days have just been uh, sort of a relax for us yeah. for the last few days. And what more could we hope for for the last few days for it to be like this? Absolutely beautiful French weather. Going to get to 30, 31, 32 today. Um, so it's not so good for fishing, but it's good for sunbathing. Isn't it Ebony? So yeah, and it's good for boozing. So we uh, brought the cooler box, we've dragged the cooler box with us with a load of ice packs. And it's absolutely beautiful this afternoon. So we're gonna get kitted out on this bench and melt this afternoon. Not giving up yet. Fingers crossed for that, that big common 
that I'm after to complete the trip. But if not, I'm absolutely buzzing with what a trip we've had. It's going to be one to talk about for a lot of years, I think. It's going to be one that's going to be difficult to beat, to catch. Very, very wise. Um, don't come here expecting to, to catch one every day. It's just not going to happen. We well, we have, but um, <laughs> we've been getting little monsters, little Lac uh, Lac fond monsters, haven't we? Baby monsters. So uh, we've had five of them. We've had the Sherman the Sturgeon twice, and he goes like hell. He goes like a train. Um, and obviously we've had Arnold, the beast. Um, so yeah, we've had a great holiday, haven't we? Have you enjoyed it? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, fab. Weather's been great, hasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, we'll definitely be coming again then, eh? Next year? <laughs> I tried, then I had to try. So yeah, fingers crossed in the next uh, 24 hours we can bag one before we go home. Hey guys, not long till we have to go back for dinner now. We've been here about three hours. We didn't recast anything like that. I put some bait down this morning and I know I cast pretty decent. Uh, but for the last hour, there's been two fish over that right hand rod. But you can see them now. But there's two separate piles of bubbles coming up just towards the point of the island, about I don't know, 60 yard out. Just at probably where that crease is. There you can see it there. Just proper bubbling up. And they've been doing that now for about an hour. So I really, really don't want to go because that is smack on my spot where they're bubbling now. Bit of a disappointment stalking. Uh, I did get them feeding off my spots in the end. Uh, I had them proper going mental over that right and rod as I showed you, but I don't know if how well you saw it. <coughs> I was watching two fish, well, definitely two fish feeding um, over that right and rod, and they were feeding that slowly. Um, I think we just want enough time for me to get a bite. As you can see, we're back at the cabin now. Got the rods on the boards. See down there. And uh, we've just got, we're just getting dinner plated up, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Like I mentioned earlier, the food package is absolutely great. You can see this is the swim that we've been in for the week. And uh, I'll just uh, come out a bit. It's a bit messy, I know. Um, but we've got all the one equipment there. Everything's provided with a, a Nash um, monster looking mat. And you've got these little toys as well to help you uh, get all your gear around. I brought my own way tripod, that's another thing. If you are coming, bring your own way tripod. Mark supplied me with a set of big scales for Rani uh, because mine only went to £60, I just have to give him a ring. And they were absolutely great, helping me up pictures and stuff as well. And uh, I'd like to give a big up to Mark as well. He's coming out at such an early time in the morning and getting some absolutely cracking pictures of Arnie for me. Um, he even he got his arse wet, I think. So yeah, fair play to you, Mark. Uh, but yeah, we'll just run you around the swim. Here's the net inside where I've been wading into net them. See my waders are set up there. We've had all those cooler boxes and stuff down here, and as you can see, we've got the main cooler at the back of the shed because uh, there's just no sunlight on there. Don't be uh, scared to leave the lines out of the water for a, for a couple of hours. I know it's uh, a scary thing to do when you're on holiday and you've paid so much for to fish the lake, but I've, I've learned that from the, my mates that fish the hard syndicates that I do and that absolutely hammer them. And, uh, they only come here in the dark uh, in the night, so I've uh, only fished it in the dark, basically, and I've been around there most of the other days. So yeah, there's just a tip here. And there's the bad boy meal. Uh, 
I don't know if I mentioned as well, here's what I'm doing with the, that middle rod that I've kept the same all week that I've had most of the fish on. Four of the really fun baby monsters. I've had the sturgeon, first time I caught it on this rig. Showed you the rig, that it's the IQ2 quarter fluorocarbon, about eight inch long B rig to a size six curve shank. And then we've got micro swivel then, two pieces of imitation maize. As you can see, I've smashed through that. And the carp absolutely love it in here. I'm going to definitely take these tactics back to the UK to uh, try it there because it's something that they're not really used to a bed of uh, hemp um, and corn right next to your uh, hook bait. I'm not really into my um, PVA friendly particles, but after this, I'm definitely going to get into it more. Yeah. The sturgeon on the pop down rig as well. And that took a 15mm natural coloured spicy fish pop up, cut down to the weight of the BB shot. Um, so it looked like, sort of looked like a dumbbell in the end, like a little pellet. But yeah, tonight's the last night. So fingers crossed we can winkle another one out. But if not, we're going to be up and at them early in, in the morning. We've took most of the stuff back to the car uh, that we can. Took the boat back to its original location over there. Happy days. What a week fishing. There's a lot of sunrise. Time's half past seven in the morning. Saturday morning. As you can see one of the rods has been uh, fondled in the night. Believe it or not, I got a rat. I think it was a rat. Um, I got a few drop back bite. Reeled it in really quick and fast. Um, I could feel some thrashing on end and when I got it in edge I put my cap on and there was a big uh, rat with my bait in its mouth. So I haven't got a clue what that was doing. Um, I don't know if it was a little koi too or a rat, but I'm pretty sure it was a massive rat. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna um, start picking away soon, get reeled in, get showered, and then we're gonna start um, towing the stuff back up to the car. What an epic session this has been. I thoroughly hope you've enjoyed it, because I know I have. Um, and my girlfriend Devin, yes, we've had such a good week, and we're absolutely good to go.